let's talk about gutter apron and how to install it so that gutter guys and siding guys don't hate you. This is gutter, ed, gutter apron as opposed to drip edge. And this is going to go here where you have a gutter, okay, on the east. What you don't want to do is put this too tight because it's a lot tighter than you would think it is. And you still have to come back and slide your fascia in. But when you're doing 10 foot pieces of this, that's really difficult. And now I still have to get my gutter underneath here. So what you want to do is you want to have a true quarter inch gap on that. Like don't touch the wood. Make sure it's spaced off. By the time you put your fascia in, and by the time you put your gutter on like this, no one's gonna see it anyway. So if you have it tight, you know what the gutter guys are gonna do? They're gonna come and they're just gonna bend it up out of the way like that so that they can get their gutter up behind it. Much better off to just put it on with a gap They'll just come in, slide it up right behind there. Perfect, no issues, no problem. And then as far as nailing this stuff, you need to make sure you nail it every eight inches, okay? Because if you space your nails out too far apart and it's kind of cool or cold, when this heats up, you're gonna get buckles in the apron. Um, and you're gonna, it's gonna raise your shingles up and you will notice it for sure. So make sure you put a nail in every eight inches and you should have it going underneath your felt. Uh, that's what the manufacturer specifications state. So anyway, that's how you install the gutter apron.